Hello everybody, welcome to the Golden Balance YouTube channel. Today the background's a little bit different because I'm at my lovely friend Ghais house and today we're making some mensaf. Mensaf is one of my favorite dishes of all time. Is it, is it originally Jordanian? Yeah. yeah. It's originally a Jordanian dish. It's this huge platter of rice covered with a bunch of lamb and this beautiful yogurt sauce. That's the gist of it. And, and today we're gonna make some. Asma, uh, when you start off, don't forget about saying today I'm at my friend Reit's house, kada kada. Just say today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make mensaf or I'm gonna be making mensaf with for example, with my two Jordanian friends, Ahmed and Reit. We'll describe it. Like you don't There's have to the get intro. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, who cares? It's fine. Just I told you guys loosen up. It's all good. Uh, so yeah, we're making mensaf at my uh, lovely Jordanian friend's house and I'm excited for this. So this is what they call jamid. This is what makes the whole dish special. So jamid is actually dehydrated yogurt. Back in the day in the desert, they did not have any fridges. So they would take the yogurt and they slab it on rocks and it would dehydrate them. And then it would clump up just like this. And when they're ready to cook, they rehydrate it and they cook it. This is broken down jamid actually. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot bigger than this. Yeah, and so usually it's a lot- small tiny pieces. Exactly. Okay, move us. So this is another. Let's move them fat ass feet. <laughs> so this is yellow sweet clover. It's called handagug. So the yellow sweet clover pretty much only grows in the desert. Alrighty, so we just added the water to the jamid. We're rehydrating it right now. That's a big old pot. So we got this big old pot, nice and beautiful. Alrighty, so we got Hamad in the cut. Right now he's emptying out all the lamb. This is a whole baby lamb. Just completely butchered. We even have the lamb head, but I'm gonna spare you guys from showing you that. Look. So we got this beautiful um, baby lamb, it's nice and gorgeous. We got these two fine gentlemen right here. Uh, we got Ghaif and then we got Hamada. Yeah. That's too big. <laughs> no, that's really yeah, good. I'll take a whole ass shower in this thing, bro. <laughs> this is the perfect size. It's like, you know. Not too small, not too big. Yeah. We that's the to perfect size. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna give the meat a nice little wash with cold water. I'll just rinse it out a couple times, just you know, just in case there's any uh, BS on it. So side note, I already had mensaf before. Um, it's one of my favorite dishes, as I mentioned. The dehydrated yogurt is like very sour and delicious, and it's actually pretty salty, so we don't really add any salt to the dish. It all comes from the jamid. After about a couple minutes, the jamid goes back into the blender with the water and we just blend it up until it's nice and smooth. So if you really want to concentrate the flavors, you can soak it overnight. Uh, if not, just, you know, toss it in. So we're using this yogurt drink uh, and we're going to add it to the lamb right now. So we're just going to dump everything in just like that. So it's not milk, it's a yogurt drink. Then we have our jamid mixture that we just, you know, blend it until nice and uh, smooth and pure. And we're gonna add that in. That's very strong in flavor, by the way. It's kind of sour. Alrighty, so that's pretty much done for now. We're gonna take this big old pot. We got this double burner. We got the double burner set up, right? So we're gonna turn that on. You like that? Nice and innovative. Drop it nice and in. And we're gonna turn on to high heat and bring this mixture to a nice bubble. And then we'll tune in. So as this comes to a boil, he's gonna constantly mix it up. So we don't want the yogurt mixture to separate. So because it's on a high heat, you constantly mix as it comes to a boil because we want it at a certain temperature. So he's gonna mix that for like 20, 30 minutes until it starts to bubble because it's so much. Then we're gonna drop the heat and let it continuously bubble for a good while. About one and a half to two and a half hours. When you drop the heat, you don't have to constantly mix, but it's very vital in the beginning just so the milk solids don't separate. And, that, and the spice, this is coffee. Yep, yeah. cooked uh, coffee. So you right. gotta cook in here for a minute. Oh, okay, okay. Move it around. All right, so real quick. So we got a bunch of beautiful coffee beans. We cooked it up for a little bit, you know, just got a nice little toast on them. And then we tossed them in the spice grinder. So nice and beautiful. And then we're gonna incorporate that with a bunch of uh, blended up cardamom. Oh, that smells so good, dude. Yeah. And now we're gonna add the beautiful water. So the cardamom coffee is the best way to finish such a heavy meal and it's usually served right after you eat. I myself am very sensitive to caffeine and I will not be participating in such beautiful and amazing flavors, unfortunately. And in this corner, we're still working the, uh, the jamid with the lamb. Um, and you can see it's kind of like starting to steam and bubble just a little bit, but you want to constantly, constantly move it. Alrighty, so we got the uh, yellow sweet clover coming in. Um, we're gonna go in with how many teaspoons? Just one. One, one nice teaspoon, this is very strong. Um, and we're, you know, this is almost up to a bubble and we're just gonna toss it in. Nice little sprinkle. And we're gonna continuously mix until it gets to a nice little bubble. It's almost there. It has a beautiful smell too. Yeah, no, it smells, it smells really good. 
It's almost there, folks. It's almost there to start boiling, and then it needs a couple hours to cook. So this is the rice that we're going to make. Um, so it's a bunch of basmati uh, rice that's covered in water. We washed the rice beforehand. We added a little bit of that handagug, which is the yellow clover, salt. And it's going to look like this after. Nice and fluffy rice. Alrighty, folks, it's the home stretch. So this bread is called saj. What, do you, what else do you guys call it? Shrak, shrak. They also call it shrak, or they call it mar'u. This is just like a Middle Eastern bread. Um, it's like, it's cooked in a specific way and it's kind of charred. And then it's laid out on the bottom before they lay, uh, lay out anything else. And it's really, really, really good. And it's going to soak up all, that, all the beautiful juices and everything. Then we got Kazo in the corner prepping all the onions, all the side dishes, the parsley, everything else. Alrighty, in this corner, we have the setup. So we have a nice little uh, thing on the bottom just laid out and then we have all the drinks and all the side um, you know vegetables on the side that we're going to eat with it and we're going to slowly start developing this nice beautiful platter over here i'm lucky very excited and then now we layer on our beautiful rice this is like the best part and then we're going to go to the next platter oh my nice beautifully fluffy basmati rice you want to equally distribute it amongst both? Is that, don't get too excited, boy. <laughs> I want to get You're supposedly on a diet. Okay? I, I want to get, get the bottom. Of course you want to get the bottom. <laughs> Alrighty. So you got the rice laid out. Oh my. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There, there's the, the lamb head right there. It's all good, it's all good. I feel like a photographer in this one. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna start grabbing pieces of lamb. Uh, they're beautifully tender. They're not fall apart, but they're not tough, obviously. We're gonna start laying them out all over the rice. And every little piece tastes a little bit different just because it's a different part of the lamb. Oh, you got them iron fingers, huh? Like, you know what it is? The long ET fingers. Yeah. <laughs> so this is about um, 12 pounds of lamb. There's 16. a bit. Oh, 16 pounds of lamb. Uh, just because there's only like five or six guys, it's not that many people. And there's obviously a bunch of, you know, thick yogurt that's a lot of fat a bunch of carbs obviously and then they ask why Arabs have a lot of cardiac arrest they <laughs> got the iron hand don't talk to him oh my look quick that's the cheek right there that's the cheek right there that's the money shot Dude, that actually looks so cool you brush his teeth yeah, you know. Yeah. Colgate, Colgate. They got me on the Sensodyne, gentle white. <laughs> Alright, now we got our uh, pine nuts, toasted pine nuts, nuts and our beautiful, uh, what's it called? Parsley? Parsley, yeah. Parsley goes on. Every little bite gets a little what's nibble of parsley. A bunch of pine nuts. We toasted the pine nuts and a bunch of ghee, clarified butter. Oh my. This is the sidr. This is the sidr. This is the sidr. This is the sidr. لا يا رجل من بعدكم هذه ايش السيجنتشر ها المنسف ودك ايش تعبي حلقه هي سينج ذا يو نو ذا 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 وير ذا هيد از اتس ذاتس لايك ذا موست اونوربل بيرسون سيتس ذير سو اتس يوزلي ذا الدرز يوزلي بيبل ذات سيت اون ات ويت انتل ذا الدست بيرسون اور ذا اولدست ذا اولدست بيرسون اون ذا تيبل اور اون ذا جراوند تاتشز ات اند ذن ذي كان يو نو هاف ا بيس اوف ميت فروم ذا هيد ابسولوتلي and this is the Bedouin, 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 Bedouin Mansaf. Come on now. Ah, the Bedouin. So this is this is how they do it in the desert. Ah, exactly. All right. So he's just telling me that you know overseas they actually put they cover everything with bread, and then they take it out. You know, so it doesn't touch any dust. Nothing gets on on top of it. Yeah, it's actually really cool. And then they you know they grab it. Come on, guys. I'm so excited. And then we just put it down. We got the we got the coffee with the cardamom. We got all the drinks. We got the vimto in the cup. The guava, mango, Pepsi. You got the, is that called incense? Bakhur. Bakhur, what's it? What's a bakhur? It's a wood. A wood, a wood, wood. It's like it, they burn a wood that gets a very uh, good aroma, beautiful aroma. So they put that in the corner, so, so everything is nice and beautiful. And then we got, this is the jamid. This is the, uh, the yogurt sauce that, you know, we've been cooking and working with. And then he's gonna, right before we, uh, you know, eat, he's gonna pour it all over. All right, here we go. We're gonna go. This is the final uh, steps, folks. The jamid goes on top. Oh my! Can I turn it off, please? Oh my! It gets nice and drenched with all that beautiful 
Yogurt sauce. Allah said, let me do it. Yeah, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Dagiga bas. Alrighty, so they're gonna teach us how they're gonna teach us how to actually eat. We actually eat with our hands. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna grab a piece of meat and they're gonna ball up the rice uh, with a little bit more of that jamid. So look, he's balling up the rice. I give him fat ass hands. <laughs> All right, so he's balling up the rice just like that, and then he's gonna take a piece of meat and devour it. That's gas right there. Alhamdulillah. Thanks a lot. Thank you to. Uh, Right and Co. For everybody, for all your help, I appreciate y'all to make this video. Alrighty, folks, thank you for tuning in. I'm very, you know, happy to bring this Jordanian dish, done the authentic way. It's very delicious. I don't really know how to eat with my hand that well, but I'm gonna, you know, clump it up into a nice ball. And as always, now Bismillah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support.